In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use the Navy Method Body Fat Calculator. And the only thing you need is a measuring tape, just like this one. What's up everybody? It's Anand from UnderdogStrength.com and welcome to episode 2 of my body recomposition series where I'll be attempting to lose fat and gain muscle at the same time as I prepare for my next powerlifting competition. This is one of the easiest ways of measuring your body fat. Now I will say this, that this method will not work for everyone, but in my experience it works for most people including myself and a lot of my clients that I coach. In fact, this is the one way I keep track of my own progress and also my clients progress because relying only on the body scale is not enough because the scale doesn't really tell you your body composition. In fact, one of the main reasons why I was able to successfully lose over 125 pounds is that I kept track of my progress. And as they say, what gets measured gets managed. Keeping track of your progress is less about accuracy and it's more about consistency. And this means that even if the method is a little bit off for you, over time you can measure your progress based on your baseline or your, or your starting point. So, you know, if your body fat percentage is trending lower and if that's your goal, then, you know, you, you can make sure that you're making progress. And even if your goal is not to lose fat, I highly recommend that you keep track of your body fat. And even if you're trying to gain weight, you want to make sure that the, all the weight that you gain, most of the weight is muscle and you want to minimize the fat gain. And if you're wondering how accurate the Navy method is for measuring your body fat, then I will tell you that it's very accurate in my experience because I just got a DEXA scan done. And if you know anything about DEXA, it's considered as the most accurate measure of your body composition. So for me personally, using the results from my DEXA scan and the results from the, using the Navy method, both of them put me at 18% body fat exactly. The first thing I would recommend is to get a really good tape measure. And not just any tape measure, the one that I recommend is called the Myo Tape. I highly recommend the Myo Tape because when you're measuring your body yourself, this is going to make things much easier and it's also going to be more accurate. If you use a Myo Tape just like this one, you simply put in whatever body part you want to measure inside of this and you press this button right here. So if I wanted to measure my arms, what I would do is I would just place my arms inside this and I would just press the button to tighten it. And then I can just let go of this and look at the measurement that way. So if you want to use the Navy method for men, you have to measure your waist at the navel and you also have to measure your neck at its narrowest point. For women, you have to measure your waist at the narrowest point, your hips at the widest point and your neck at the narrowest point. So if you've got your tape measure ready, then I highly recommend that you go ahead and measure at these points. Once you have these numbers, click on the link in the description below that will take you to the Navy Method Body Fat Calculator. Alright, so here we are on my website which is underdogstrengths.com and when you go to the top of the page, you can click on Body Fat Calculator which is going to bring you to this page where it, it explains what the Navy Method is and if you scroll down to below the picture, you're going to find a calculator right here. So right here you can enter uh, you know, your own information. So I'm just going to enter my own information. You know, my height is 70 inches, neck is 15, waist is about 34. And you can see this is my estimated body fat percentage, which is 17.4. And like I said, I just did a DEXA scan and my DEXA scan put me at 18%. So this is extremely close to what I got from the DEXA scan, and which is, you know, as you know, the DEXA scan is considered as the most accurate measure of your body fat or your body composition. Yeah, so check out this calculator on my website. Just go to underdogstrength.com slash body fat calculator navy method or just go to my site and click go here. And I'll also make sure to leave a link down in the description below. And if you're wondering what your ideal body fat percentage should be, I want you to pause the video right here and take a look at this chart. As you can see here that my body fat is 
towards the higher limit of what's considered to be a fitness body fat percentage and if I can successfully over time reduce my body fat percentage to about 14% which is the lower end of the fitness range then that would be great and that is my short term goal. And if you want the best results possible then I highly recommend that you measure your progress in some way or the other and the Davy method is one of the best ways of keeping track of your body fat percentage. So my starting body fat percentage right now is about 18% and my goal with the body recomposition that I'm gonna do is to lower my body fat percentage by at least one to two points uh, in, in the next coming six months. So my goal with this body recomposition experiment that I'm doing is to lower my body fat percentage by about one to two percent in about six months. And what this will do is that it's first of all my body weight is going to stay stable at about 180 pounds and this will allow me to compete in the 183 pound weight class and secondly you know since I'm focusing more on increasing my performance in the gym and getting stronger that should really help me improve my body composition so if you want to keep up with all of my episodes of this body recomposition series that I'm doing then make sure to hit the subscribe button down below I hope this was informative. If you have any questions for me, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below because I make sure to answer all the comments on my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.